In this video, we will be looking at initial conditions and particular solutions. So the problem is find the general solution of f prime of x equals 3x squared minus 1 and find the particular solution that satisfies the initial condition f of 2 equals 4. So far, our general solution will first integrate this equation. So we know that f prime of x is the same as dy dx, and that is 3x squared minus 1. And then we'll write this as a differential. So we have dy is equal to 3x squared minus 1 dx. And then when we integrate both sides, The integral of dy is just y, and we can increase the exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So we have 3x cubed divided by 3, and then minus, and remember we can think of this as x to the 0. So we have 1x to the 1 divided by 1 and then plus our constant. So our general solution is y equals x cubed minus x plus a constant. This is my general solution. And I can check that by using the power rule 3x squared what I had there, and then minus 1, and then plus 0. So I know that this is right. Then uh, my initial condition is f of 2 equals 4. This means that when x is 2, y equals 4, because remember f of x is the same as y. So when x is 2, y is 4. We're going to use these values in our general solution to find the value of c. So y, I'm going to put a 4 in, in place of y. And then x is 2. And that's cubed minus x, so minus 2, and then plus our constant. Now we just need to solve for c. So 4 equals 2 cubed is 8, minus 2 plus c. 4 equals 6 plus c. Subtract 6 from both sides, so c is equal to a negative 2. That means then our particular solution is y equals x cubed minus x minus 2.